The PlayStation TV is exactly like and uniquely different from the PlayStation Vita, and it deserves its own place on the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you everything it takes to jailbreak your own PlayStation TV in just a matter of minutes. Fire up your PlayStation TV, get it connected to the internet, and sign into your PlayStation Network account. Your PlayStation TV is about to get a massive upgrade, and we're starting now. Click the subscribe button and ring the bell to become part of the conversation. You only need two downloads to get your PlayStation TV running custom firmware, and they're both linked for you in the description below. The first one is called Final HE, and it's on the GitHub. Navigate to the Assets section and click on the Final HE file shown here. You'll also need the Vita Deploy Pack. This has everything that you'll need to install over to your Vita using Final HE. Navigate down to the Assets section and grab the Vita Deploy Pack with the FHE in the text for Final HE shown here. In your downloads folder, uncompress the Final HE file that you downloaded. It is not a folder in a folder, so you need to uncompress it into its own individual folder. Then delete the compressed file to eliminate clutter out of your downloads folder. Grab the Vita Deploy Pack, but do not uncompress it. Just drag and drop it right into the Final HE folder that you just created. Then navigate into the Final HE folder, and inside the folder, Double click on the Final HE executable file to launch the program. The Final HE interface can look, well, kind of smallish on your computer, so I've blown it up here to make it easier to see. Navigate up to the checkbox that says Trim H Encore to approximately 7 megabytes and check this box. There's a very small arrow on the right side of the Final HE box to expand a side menu. It's shown right here. Click on this arrow and you'll get a new set of menu options. Navigate up to the top right corner to the checkbox that says Vita Deploy and check it. Now just leave Final HE open and transition over to your PlayStation TV. Use the D-pad on your wired or wireless controller to navigate down in the live area until you get to the Content Manager. Then select Content Manager with the X button and select Start with the X button to launch it. Use the D-pad to navigate down to Copy Content and select it with X to continue. You'll need to select a device that you want to connect to. In this case, it's going to be your PC. Use the D-pad to slide down to PC and select it with X. Your computer and PS TV need to be connected to the same network, and if you don't see your PC listed, check your Windows firewall settings. Select your computer from the list of choices, and you'll be prompted to enter a code. Here's where that code is located. Back in Final HE on your computer, you'll see that there's now a connection code to enter to connect between your PC and your PlayStation TV. Record this number and make note that it is likely different from this video to your device. Back in the Content Manager app, press X and then enter in the number exactly as you saw it in Final HE. Then select Register in the bottom right corner with the X button to continue. Give your computer and your PlayStation TV a moment and the two will be connected. Then navigate down to Next in the bottom right corner and select it with X to continue. Once you see this screen, wait right here and navigate back over to your PC. Back in Final HE, click on the link that says Let's Go highlighted in black. It'll turn shaded gray, and then some key files will be transferred around. Once that process is complete, go back to your PlayStation TV. Now that Final HE has done its task, there are two applications to install. Navigate the highlighter to where it says PC and select it with the X button. In the list of choices, navigate down to Applications and select it with the X button. Then from the list of menu choices, select PS Vita with the X button to move forward. You'll see two applications listed here, H Encore and the Vita Deploy Package. Move the highlighter with the D-pad to select each of these and then press the X button to activate the checkbox next to both. Now use the D-pad to move the highlight down to Copy and select it with the X button. Then when prompted, select OK with the X button to continue. Give these applications a few minutes to install on your PlayStation TV, and once they're done, you'll go back to the menu screen. Press the PlayStation button on your controller, then press and hold the circle button to go back to the What's New screen, and then slide to the left to go back to the live area. Let's make sure H Encore is working. Select it with X, and then select X for Start. When prompted for trophies, select Yes with X. You'll see the screen flash several times, and you'll be presented with the H Encore menu. You don't have to do anything here. Just exit H Encore by pressing the X button to go back to the library once again. Now that we know H Encore is good, 
Navigate to the Settings application, select it with the X button, and then select Start with the X button to launch settings. From the list of choices that are presented in the menu, select Henkaku Settings with the X button. Scroll down with the D-pad to enable Homebrew, and check this box with the X button. At this point, you can just press the PlayStation button on your controller, and press and hold Circle to go back to the What's New screen and slide to the left to go to the live area. The next step in the process is to get VitaShell loaded on your PlayStation TV. To do this, use the D-pad to navigate down to Vita Deploy and select it with the X button. Then select Start with the X button to launch Vita Deploy. From the list of menu choices, use the D-pad to move the highlighter down until you get to App Downloader and select App Downloader with the X button. Again, use the D-pad to move the highlight down until you get to Vita Shell and then use the X button to check the box next to Vita Shell. Use the D-pad to move the highlighter back up until you get to download the selected apps and select it with the X button. Give your device a moment to download and you'll be presented with VitaShell.VPK in red. Use the controller D-pad to move the blue highlight down to VitaShell.VPK, then select it with the X button. At the pop-up window, select Yes with the X button to install VitaShell. And at the pop-up prompt, select Yes to continue. Once the installation is complete, press the PlayStation button on your controller and press and hold circle to go back to the What's New screen, then left to go back to the live area. You'll see VitaShell has been installed on your live area, but don't go into it. Go right back into Vita Deploy with the X button and start it with the X button. This is the point where you downgrade from version 3.73 to version 3.65 of the official firmware and install Enso Custom Firmware. To start the process, navigate down to install a different OS and select it with X. Then select Quick 3.65 install with the X button. The 3.65 firmware and Enso firmware will both be downloaded. Once the downloads are complete, you'll be asked whether or not you're ready to downgrade your firmware and install the custom firmware. Select Yes with the X button to continue. Read the notification on screen, wait the required 20 seconds, then when prompted, press X to accept the terms and install. You can expect your PlayStation TV to display the usual screens that would indicate that a system software update is being installed. Once the installation is complete, your PlayStation TV will restart and go back to the live area. Your PlayStation TV has booted to custom firmware at this point, but if you stop here, you're cheating yourself out of a lot of value you can add to your PlayStation TV. Navigate down to Vita Deploy, select it with X, and then select Start with the X button to launch Vita Deploy again. There are two key applications you want to get here. Scroll down to App Downloader with the D-pad, and then select it with the X button. The first of the two applications you want to get is the Vita Homebrew Browser. Use the D-pad to scroll down to Vita Homebrew Browser and mark the checkbox with the X button. Then scroll down to ITLS Installer. Select this checkbox with the X button. Use the D-pad to move the highlighter back to the top to download the selected apps and select this with the X button. Once these two applications have downloaded to your PlayStation TV, you'll be back at VitaShell and you'll see the list of VPKs again. There's no need to keep VitaShell.VPK. Highlight it in blue, Press triangle, scroll down with the D-pad to delete, and select delete with the X button. Then select yes with the X button to confirm the VPK deletion. This is going to leave you the two VPK files you just downloaded. Press the triangle button, and then select mark all with the X button. Now press the triangle button again. We're going to install both of these at the same time to save you some time and extra steps. Scroll down with the D-pad until you see the word more and then select More with the X button. Move the blue highlighter down to Install All and select it with the X button. And at each time that you're prompted, select Yes with the X button to get through the pop-up messages and install both of these applications. Once everything's installed, you no longer require these VPK files. Might as well save the space. Press the Triangle button, and in the pop-up menu that appears, use the D-pad to scroll down to Delete and select Delete with the X button. And at the confirmation prompt, select Yes with the X button to delete these VPK files as these applications are already installed on your PlayStation TV. Then press the PlayStation button on your controller and press and hold circle to go back to the What's New screen and slide to the left back to the live area. ITLS helps solidify your internet connection with your PlayStation TV. 
Use the D-pad to navigate down to the ITLS installer, select it with X, and select Start with the X button to launch it. From the main menu, select Install the full ITLS package with the X button. Once the installation process is complete, your PlayStation TV will restart and return to the live area. There are a few Hinkaku settings that need to be changed to maximize your PlayStation TV's performance. Navigate down to the Settings application, select it with the X button, and then select Start with the X button to launch it. You definitely don't want an official firmware version being downloaded and installed over your custom firmware. To fix this, scroll down to the bottom to where it says System, and select System with the X button. From here, navigate down to Auto Start Settings with the D-pad and select it with X. In the list of choices, uncheck Download Update File for System Software by selecting it with the X button. Then press the PlayStation button on your controller and press and hold circle to go back to what's new and slide to the left to go back to the live area to save this change. Go right back into settings by selecting it with X and selecting start with the X button. From the list of menu choices, select Hinkaku settings with the X button. These should all be pre-configured correctly, but let's double check to be sure. Make sure that enable PSN spoofing is checked. Scroll down and make sure enable version spoofing is checked. Then scroll down to Spoofed Version and select it with X. Make sure the Spoofed Version says 3.73. If it says anything different, type in 3.73. Now press the PlayStation button on your controller, press and hold circle to go back to what's new, and slide to the left with the D-pad to go back to the live area. Now that your PlayStation TV is jailbroken, you can do cool stuff with it, just like you see in this video here shown on screen and linked in the pinned comment and description below.